Welcome back. We're still talking about grassroots football and how you can go to school and also get to play football. Our guest in the studio is still here, Isra, yeah. colorist of a Brookhouse College Football Academy. You know? Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah you, you, you were telling us that um, you, you were a product of the academy as well, right from here, without knowing anybody, and you were able to combine uh, education and football. Can you, can you tell us that story quickly? Um, actually, um, I got the opportunity to study at Broker School in 2008, so I was opportunity to study A-levels, business and economics, and also play football at the same time. And at Broker School, you have to study, you have to focus on your education, because um, if you are getting low grades, um, you won't get to play matches. Okay. Okay. So for you to, for you to um, play matches, to be selected, you want to upgrade, grade, so you have to study hard as well. So um, the opportunity was so good to me because um, I had the opportunity to um, train with the um, best coaches, ALA, UFA badge, UFA B badge, and with school facilities and everything, which make me a better player. Okay. And we are better at present playing in Turkey at the moment. Okay. And um, so um, then there was um, this inspiration came to me as I was given the opportunity. So I like to give back to my country. So mm -hmm. I spoke to the um, Brookhouse College principal. So they gave us an opportunity. They came down. Yeah, they came down. So we organized a program, Shuffle Select, 2017, right. and which a boy will speak, um, Arafat Abu Bakr. All right. Will, so we're going to Brookhouse on honor percent scholarship. Can, can you tell us more about um, what you just about now, Arafat, the, the young boy that was picked? Um, yeah, so obviously we worked together with Shafar Select and I was invited. I've seen lots of players, so my job was very, very difficult to, to pick one. But the end of the, the last day I could uh, clearly point out the, the best player and, and I'm happy to say that the, the college will provide him two years scholarship so he can come to, for two years education and uh, including all boarding, tuition fee, football coaching and everything will be provided for, for Arafat. I'm really looking forward to, to see him in, in college football team. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, lad. I mean, of all the players you had, I mean, there were very many, I guess. Yes. Like yes. how many? Yeah, well, like uh, 200 plus. 200 yeah. plus, just, just one. one. Yeah. Just one. Um, it's going to be very difficult. So that means Arafat yeah. is extra ordinary. Yes, extra he is. Because yes. um, um, we have the likes of um, the studio server, Moen. Oh, so it was there. It was there, so it was. He yeah, been, he, he's been so positive of the program since day one. I spoke to him, so he took it up, and he had me so so All right, guys, we want to thank you uh, for, for your time, uh, for being here uh, with us, and we wish you well in all that you're doing, and hopefully um, the, the, the guys that you're trying to help will be able to fulfill their potentials and go on uh, to become professional um, football players. So thank you, Daika and uh, Isvan. Uh, we hope to see you some other time. Maybe when next year. Yeah, I hope so. When next year in the country. All right, um, that's been what I had to say. Uh, that's what I have to say about um, you know developing football on the grass. So we'll go for a quick time. Our Ben Allah is waiting in the wings uh, to join us. We'll be talking about FIFA Competition Cup. We'll be talking about Cameroon and also what's going down in the domestic scene. Before have Australia and Cameroon met at senior international football level, a brand new transcontinental rivalry for the global game. It is something pretty adjacent to knockout football. The losers here will surrender control of their own Confederations Cup destiny. New Zealand's fate was sealed amid much turbulence in Sochi last night. Fooled by Ugadur. And lit in by Zambangisa! What a clever finish on the cusp of half time! It's Cameroon's first goal in the best part of five hours playing time. And it is taken with such deft intelligence by Andre Frank Sambo and Gisa. The game has thirsted for a moment like that. It's a really delicious touch. And Cameroon have an advantage here. Purpose from the youngster and a rush tackle coming in from Mabuka.
He is awaiting a review here. Which is undergoing review now from the uh, American VAR. The ball is on the spot. He has been given. And opportunity locks for Australia. And it is the skipper who will step forward. Milligan scores! His third penalty for his nation. Mark Milligan firmly and out of the reach of Ondoa who went the right way.